Okay, if you want this spreadsheet, click the link in the description. It'll come straight down to your computer and you've got all the formulas in place and you can just use your own lists, etc. No registration or anything like that. You just get it. This is my randomly sorted list. So how do I rank it? Well, you can't use the rank formula for, a, it's a bit of a shame because that'd be nice and simple. The rank formula would be good for ranking values, but no good for ranking text. This method will rank text and values. So the formula, what we're gonna do is you're gonna count th this item within its own list. We're counting for, if I press F2 then, there you go, see. So you're gonna say, right, count the entire range of that column from the header downwards. Within that, look for anything that's less than or equal to the current item and count how many there are. Now, when you do use the less than or equals to on text, it acts as a kind of uh, an alphabetical check. So it will find everything that's alphabetically before that item and then any numbers will also be included in there and then count them. So what you end up returning is the position in a, an, of the item in an alphabetically sorted list. So in that case, that's 15. Appliances would be number one. If I was to put, for example, Z on the bottom, and the formula's just copied itself down, that'd give me 18. If I put A, sorry, A there, that's now position number one. Right. And then what I've got here is a fixed list of numbers. I've just got this put in the number one and then counted up from there. And then I'm using an index match to basically find the item with that rank and put it on that list. So an index max, max, index match, if you're not familiar with it, right. So what I'm saying is the match bit I'll describe first. So this is this a bit of formula here. I'm saying find this number one in this column G here. And that what that does is it tells me the position. And because I've highlighted the whole of column G, it will just give me the row number that that number it, that uh, it finds it in. If it can't find it at all, it'll give me an error. And we, we can account for that later if, if you like. But at the moment, we know our list length, so we don't need to worry about handling any errors. We know the 17 items in the list, so it's going to be able to find all of them. Then I'm saying, right, so that's going to return number, so number one is in column five, so that's going to give me a number five. And then the index formula just allows me to return any position from a range of cells. So we're saying from column F, return me position five, the result of that match. So it's going to give me the fifth item in there, so the one on row five, which of course is the same as the rank that we want. So that's the formula. Copy that down. Now, as I said, if you put on another row and copy down, you'll get an error because there is no row 18. No, sorry, nothing with rank 18. So this is not a dynamic um, list. If you want a dynamic list, there's a, I've got plenty of videos on creating dynamic uh, lists. So there'll be one either on screen at the moment or in the description. So if you want to learn how to do this dynamically, you can. All right. Hope that was helpful for you. Hope that's going to save you time because that's what I really want to do, save people time. So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.